Hey everyone, it's Justine and welcome to a new video tutorial. Today I'm going to be working with the new release from Ellen Hudson and I'm going to be mainly working with the hands die. This die is super fun and versatile and comes also with a coordinating sentiment set. I'm going to be mainly focusing on the second set of hands, the little ones, to create this card. So I'm going to start off, I wanted to create a circle of hands, all of them sort of touching each other. So I went ahead and die cut one from the top. I'm going to go ahead and die cut one from the bottom now. Now I tried to find a way to make this really um, symmetrical, I guess you could say. And so I started with the top and bottom to make it easier. And now I'm going to go ahead and add in the sides. Now I found once I had die cut the third hand, what well, was a bit of an issue was trying to place this one so that it was symmetrical. So what I ended up doing was I went ahead and I grabbed the old die and I grabbed a pencil and I just traced around the outside of the die roughly so I knew approximately where I placed it. Because when I go ahead and put this down, it's hard to know where the outline of the die is really truly going to be. And that helped me figure out a placement for the hand on the left of the card. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw that through my die cutting machine and I'm also going to go ahead and die cut the final two hands here at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and erase all of those pencil marks that I used in order to line up my hands relatively symmetrically. And you'll notice that I used two sets of hands so that the fingers or the thumbs rather are facing the proper way when it is held upright. Now these hands here, they actually don't cut out the wrist, so if you would like them cut out completely like I am right now, you're just going to grab a pen blade, which is my favorite exacto knife, and I grabbed a ruler with a piece of steel on the side so that I don't ruin the ruler, and I'm going to go ahead and die cut all of those, or cut all of those now. I'm now going ahead and I'm on my card base, which measures five and a half by five and a half. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trace all of the hands so that I know where they're going to be. I wanted to have this to be all sorts of colors of the rainbow and I wanted to have six shaker cards or six shaker pouches in my on my card. So I'm grabbing some Distress Oxide inks. I grabbed some Peacock Feathers, Wilted Violet, Picked Raspberry, Carved Pumpkin, Twisted Citron, and Squeezed Lemonade to create a little bit of a rainbow of colors here. I didn't want them to be realistic, but of course you can do different um, shades of tan, brown, and things like that to represent different races, nationalities. This card could just be really used for anything, but I wanted to stick to just being rainbows. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm using some 3M foam tape here, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it all so that I have six pouches around the hands. This was probably the most tedious task of the card because they're all quite close together. Now if you wanted to avoid this being so tedious, you may want to grab a piece of 12 by 12 paper and make this card 6 by 6 and you'll have a little bit more room around the hands. I don't own any 12 by 12 paper anymore since I stopped scrapbooking, so I was stuck with the 8.5 by 11 which made the card 5.5 by 5.5 in the end. There are ways to make it larger when you have the 5.5 or 8.5 by 11 paper, but I didn't feel like going into too much detail. So I'm just going ahead and adding all of these tiny pieces. What I love about this 3M foam tape is that you can buy it in a massive roll and it is really affordable because this honestly this massive roll lasts me about a year. But I like the fact that you can cut it without having sort of any issues of it sticking to your scissors or anything like that. It's very easy to cut down to whatever size that you need. So you can see I'm slowly building up six pouches here. I'm trying to stick as close to the hands as possible so I don't have to waste a lot of sequins or beads. And I'm going to be mainly using the jewels from Pretty Pink Posh here in order to fill those in. I wanted to use a color that coordinated with the background so that it wouldn't be too busy when I added all the shaker bits. I added some more paper, or you'll see I added more foam along the sides just so that it didn't end up sagging. So I'm going in now and I'm just emptying a bunch of the jewels into the die cut. If it bothers you so much that so many of them are upside down, you can go ahead and flip them right side up as well. This doesn't bother me too much though, and that would have been quite time consuming. So going in to add all the colors are just super fun, and I love having all the different colors of jewels that are available from Pretty Pink Posh. The only ones that weren't from Pretty Pink Posh were the orange ones, because she doesn't have any, so I used some from Lucy's cards. 
So I went ahead now and I added my hands over top, but I did forget to put in the video that I added a piece of acetate, obviously, to the back of those hands. I added one large piece of five and a quarter by five and a quarter piece of acetate in order to make sure, of course, that the shaker bits don't fall out. So that's all I did was use liquid glue, glue that five and a quarter by five and a quarter piece of acetate, and then I glued it on top of the foam tape. I then went ahead and stamped the sentiment, let it go, and I added that to the center of my card after I cut it down with a rectangle, into a rectangle shape. So that's the end of today's card tutorial. I hope you'll go and check out the new release from Ellen Hudson. There's really lots of fun stamps and dies that are available, including lots that are for letter boards, which are super trendy at the moment. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're interested in checking out another video, you can click on the video suggested here or subscribe to my channel. Bye now.